thefiletree.com is a website we create so that you can create files and edit them in the browser. We have also created a system so that you can view and interact with the data in several ways and editing a file is just one of those ways. Let's see another way. In this plug, we can edit the data on the left and the resulting web page will be shown up on the right. Of course, we went further. We have a system so that it's easy to find files using a fuzzy matching search. And again, I can use this plug so that on the right you see everything we do on the left. I'm also working very hard on having the possibility of setting metadata for each file. For example, the default plug it should be opened with, etc. Anyway, so right now you're going to see me work on metadata dumping and loading from the file so that after a server restart, the metadata of each file is saved. Let me use this time to talk about how the system works internally. We're using Node.js on top of a web server we created. It's called Scatcam and it's available on github.com slash espadrin slash sc. And the whole project is hosted on GitHub too um, at github.com slash garden slash tree. The web-based code editor that we use is called CodeMirror. Is created by Marie Marie Haverbecker. Not sure if I pronounce this correctly, it's very hard. And CodeMirror is also hosted on GitHub. It supports a lot of files like HTML of course, XML, um, Markdown. We actually have a plug for Markdown so that you can visualize Markdown, rendered Markdown on the right while you edit it on the left. A bit like the um, HTML plug we showed previously. Each file you can edit is also collaborative so that all the modifications that everyone does is updated on everyone's editor. For that we use operational transformation of course and um, there's a library that one of uh, the people working on our project, Tim Bowman, has created and he's made it available on NPM as operational dash transformation. The basic workflow is like this. You fork garden slash tree and then you work on your own GitHub repository. And you can make pull requests to garden slash tree if you feel like um, what you have is good for the website. So it must be very stable. And then someone else accepts the pull request. We also have an IRC channel, which is hosted on Freenode at pound tree. So on the screen there, I'm nearly done. I'll be making the pull request within moments. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching.